Welcome to the second tutorial of the maths. Proof of Heron's formula. In this tutorial, we will prove the Heron's formula. Heron gave a formula to find out the area of a triangle. You can see the triangle in the figure. Now, Heron's formula is used to calculate the area of the triangle. For this triangle of the figure, the area of the triangle is equal to capital A is equal to under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C where S is equal to small a plus small b plus small c by 2. You can see small a, small b and small c are the value of the side of the triangle. Let's consider a triangle ABC as shown in figure where AB is equal to small a, BC is equal to small b and AC is equal to small c. Now suppose small s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2. Now in new figure you can so you can see the angle ABC is equal to theta. So let's take value of angle ABC is equal to theta. So applying cosine formula to the angle theta we get cos theta is equal to a square plus b square minus c square upon 2ab. This is the cosine formula for the triangle, numbering this at number 1. In the first tutorial, we have proved this cosine formula. Please check out my first tutorial for the proof of the cosine formula. Let's draw perpendicular AG from the point A to the side BC. You can see the perpendicular AG in the new figure. So triangle ABG is a right angle triangle where value of AGB is equal to 90. Now we know that area of the triangle is equal to capital A is equal to 1 half into base into perpendicular on the base. Here base is BC. And perpendicular on the base is AG. So capital A is equal to one half into AG into BC, where BC is base and AG is perpendicular on the base. Numbering this equation as number two. Now in triangle ABG, sine theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse is equal to AG upon AB is equal to AG upon small a, since AB is equal to small a. Now, AG is equal to A into sin theta. Now, using the value of AG in equation 2, we get capital A is equal to 1 half B into A into sin theta, where A sin theta stands for AG and B stands for BC. Now we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So sin theta is equal to under root 1 minus cos square theta. So capital A is equal to 1 half into B into A into under root 1 minus cos square theta. Where under root 1 minus cos square theta is sin stands for sin theta. Now in equation 1 we have got value of cos theta. So capital A is equal to 1 half into AB into under root. 1 minus a square plus b square minus a square upon 2ab whole square which is the value of cos theta. So capital A is equal to 1 half into ab into under root 1 minus a raised to 4 plus b raised to 4 plus c raised to 4 plus 2a square b square minus 2b square c square minus 2a square c square upon 4a square b square which is the square of the above term in about equation. Now capital is equal to 1 half into AB. Now take LCM. So under root 4 a square b square minus a raised to 4 b mi, uh, minus b raised to 4 minus c raised to 4 minus 2 a square b square plus 2 b square c square plus 2 a square c square upon under root 4 a square b square. Now 
वन बाय फोर इंटू ए बी बाई ए बी इंटू अंडर रूट माइनस ए रेस टू फोर माइनस बी रेस टू फोर माइनस सी रेस टू फोर प्लस टू स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू सी स्क्वायर स्क्वायर ए बी इन द डिनोमिनेटर इज आउट ऑफ अंडर रूट ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर इन टू अंडर रूट माइनस सी रेस टू फोर माइनस बी रेस टू फोर माइनस सी रेस टू फोर प्लस टू स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर सो कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर इन टू अंडर रूट माइनस सी रेस टू फोर माइनस बी रेस टू फोर माइनस सी रेस टू फोर कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दी एरो की यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड नाउ स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर विच इज एक्सपांसन ऑफ टू ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर नाउ माइनस बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर प्लस फोर बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर Which is the expansion of plus two b square c square, and a square c square plus a square c square, which is the expansion of plus two a square c square. Now adding the terms minus two a square b c plus two a square b c plus two b c cube b cube c minus two b cube c plus two b c cube minus two b c cube. Equation is unchanged, so we can adding the terms in this way. So capital is equal to one by four into under root minus a raised to four plus a square b square plus a square c square minus two a square b c plus a square b square minus b raised to four b square c ah uh, minus b square c square plus two b cube c plus a square c square minus b square c square minus c raised to four plus two b c cube plus two a square b c minus two b cube c minus two b c cube plus four b c b square c square. This is the only uh, this is only arrangement on. of the up terms of the above equation nothing else now please note that the seventh term and tenth terms are minus b square c square please note minus b square c square this that is mistake on the screen So capital A is equal to one by four into under root. Now minus a square is common in first four terms. So common out minus a square, and a square minus b square minus a square plus two bc will remain in the first four terms. Now b square plus b square is common in second fourth terms. So b common out b square and a square minus b square minus a square plus two bc remain in second fourth terms. Now c plus c square is common in third fourth terms. And plus two b c is common in last four terms. So capital A is equal to one by four into under root minus c square plus b square plus c square plus two b c into a square minus b square minus c square plus two b c. So capital A is equal to one by four into under root minus c square plus b square plus c square plus two b c. Now adding plus a b minus a b plus c c minus c c in both brackets. So equation is unchanged. So we can write in this way. Now arranging the terms in proper way, we get capital A is equal to one by four into under root minus a square plus a b plus a c minus a b plus b square plus b c, which is expansion of two b c b c plus b c and minus a c. Plus c square. In the second bracket, plus b c plus b c are the expansion of two b c.
concentrate on the arrow key you can understand So capital A is equal to 1 by 4 into under root. Now, A plus A is common in first three terms. Minus C plus B plus C is remain in first three terms. Plus B is common in second three terms and plus C is common in last three terms. And minus C plus B plus C is remain. Now in second bracket, plus A is common in first three terms, minus B is common in second three terms, and plus C is common in last three terms. A plus B minus C is remain. So capital is equal to under root a plus b plus c into minus a plus b plus c into a minus b plus c into a plus b minus c upon under root 16. Under root 16 in the denominator is 1 by 4. You can understand. So capital A is equal to numerator is same but in denominator under root 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 which is expansion of under root 16. So capital A is equal to under root A plus B plus C into A plus B plus C minus 2A where A minus 2A which is expansion of minus A into in third bracket A plus B plus C minus 2B. Now B minus 2B is expansion of minus B into in fourth bracket A plus B plus C minus 2C where C minus 2C stands for minus C. In denominator you can understand. Now minus 2a by 2 is equal to minus a minus 2b by 2 is equal to minus b and minus 2c by 2 is equal to minus c so you can understand now remember that e plus b plus c by 2 is equal to small s so replacing a plus b plus c by 2 by s so area of triangle is equal to capital A is equal to under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C which is the equation of Heron. Heron gives this equation to find out area of, uh, area of triangle with the value of three sides. So we have proved this. If you like this, you can like or subscribe this. Thank you.